Jumping off the porch like mom's not home Tell me why the best things feel so wrong Summer nights, love them how they take so long What's up guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. Let's do it. From the title of this video, you probably already know what we're about to do. In the past, I've given you a tour of my tiny, yet extremely homey and quite magical suite in Timothy Dwight College. You've also gotten a chance to peek into the Henderson Heisner suite in Davenport College. But now I share with you guys where I've been living for the past three weeks and studying French. Welcome to Berkeley College. Like I said in a previous video, this is where I've been posted up for the past past couple weeks, grinding every day on the ridiculous amount of French homework I have. And I know what you may be asking yourself. Hey Josh, is Berkeley as wholesome, loving, gentle, beautiful as the Timothy Dwight College? Some might say the best college at Yale. And uh, the answer is no, but, but it's pretty good, it's pretty good. You know, the, the amenities might be a little nicer, I'll give them that. But before we get into the tour, we need some context. We need some establishing shots. So uh, here we are in the South Berkeley Courtyard. Berkeley's actually divided between two courtyards. This one's the South one. The north one's over there, over by Beinecke Library. But it's pretty beautiful. Eyes are up here in entryway A. I'm up there on the fourth floor and I stuck all the girls in entryway B. And then everyone else here is doing research. So most of them are Yellies. I'm on the fourth floor, so let's head up. Look at that view. Wait, wait, I can't just show you the room. If this video is gonna be in true Josh Beasley style, we're gonna to have to do a cinematic sequence. So, roll this up. Come up's always on my mind. It's dictating my decisions. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop the cinema. The room's, the room's completely empty, okay? We got, we got a mattress on the ground over there. We got a chair, got a beautiful window. That's, that's about it. Obviously, the people that were in the suite during the year took all their furniture with them and left. It's not worth trying to furnish a room that you're only going to live in for four weeks. So we are left with a completely empty room, but you know, it's okay. We can make the most of it. There's so much room for activities. Should have been Look at all this floor all space. Up. So much aerobics in here. So many activities. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. Let's get on to the tour of my actual room. Starting over here on this wall, we have our famed trash shelf. Um, yeah, we haven't we haven't invested in a trash can yet, our suite. So uh, we're just gonna keep that there and hope that it doesn't overflow in here. Right, hold on, let me open the door, make it dramatic. Okay, here we got my room. It's a double. Um, I would have normally cleaned it for you guys, but really did not feel like doing that at the current moment's time so uh, yeah just imagine as if the bed was made as you can see by the size of the room it's actually pretty big um, considering my double that I had in TD honestly my double in TD was just slightly bigger than this and I didn't even have a common room there so this is a pretty pretty big deal for me we'll start right here with the bed as you can see we have a nice bed um, these are all my own sheets and stuff. Obviously, I was, I was studying a little bit earlier. Blanket. Ooh, Sharpie. What's a Sharpie doing here? Oh, wait. I know what the Sharpie's doing here. Right, this is fun. Watch this one. And moving on. I'll uh, we'll put the Sharpie over there. We've got uh, random camera lenses and gear. I don't know. Stuff that I used to take pictures and videos and stuff. Um, we'll move over to my desk. We have books. In fact, I've read, read both of these books already. They're French books, including this one too. Um, all pretty interesting stuff. Here's one of our textbooks, notebooks, our course pack, some more random notebooks. Over here we have my laptop with the script for this video on it. Yes, I do write scripts for videos. Um, as much as I might sound like a bumbling idiot, I do in fact. Here's a camera setup because I was filming something earlier. I'm actually filming this current video on my new point and shoot that I'll probably talk about in a future video. But here's my big stationary camera setup. My mic and my 70D and everything. We've got a, a Yeti. Um, what does it have in it, you ask? 
Well, it's full of Diet Coke. Please don't judge, but uh, I gotta stay up and get my caffeine from somewhere, so that's what, that's, that's what I chose to do. Not gonna show my roommate's side of the room, but here in these drawers, we got a nice desk. We got, we got protein bars, these Lemon Delight protein bars, best tasting ones on the market, highly recommend. Sunscreen, sunglasses, some hats. Um, this next drawer we have, oh yeah, it's completely empty. Over here I have my wardrobe. I got my towels hanging from it because there's no towel racks for them to dry because we haven't bought those. Um, just some shirts, more shirts, jackets, you know, clothes in here. Pretty typical dorm room. Um, not much to see. It's a little bit bigger than normal, but uh, it's a pretty good setup. Over the other way we have a bathroom that has uh, one toilet, two showers, a um, couple sinks, that's all we need. Um, I think normally on this floor there's this, this is a six person suite, and then there's a single across the hall, so just seven people sharing a bathroom. Not too bad, considering we had like 16 last year in TD. Alright guys, that pretty much concludes the tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below or hit the subscribe button if you're new. I hope I was able to give you guys a little peek into my life here at Yale Summer Session in Berkeley College. Um, not much to see, but I hope it was entertaining. Hopefully I'll be back again in a couple days with another video and get hyped for the Paris vlogs that will be coming soon as soon as I get there. Super excited for Paris, super excited for everything I'll be doing there. And hopefully my French will be good enough by then to actually survive in the country. So, wish me luck. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment down below any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.